Let's look at some trending tickers. Investors plugging into Tesla after CEO Elon Musk made an announcement on X, writing that the company will be unveiling a robo-taxi on August 8th. So for more on this, we're joined by Tasha Kinney, ARK Invest Analyst. Tasha, always great to see you here. Thanks for joining us on a Monday morning. So I, it, I think by this time we're thinking, okay, August 8th, he must have it down. But we've been told about this, teased about this before uh, in 2020, going back all the time uh, when we were talking, when Elon Musk was talking about a million robo taxis. So, what should we expect on August 8th here in the great reveal? Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right that, um, you know, one common criticism of Tesla is that they've been talking about robo taxis for a long time. And the question is, okay, well, where is it? Um, well, I actually think we've seen a lot of progress over the past few years, um, notably in their full self-driving software um, that they released to consumers, you know, and they just they just took that out of beta mode, right, and allowed a lot more people access to the latest version of the software. Um, and what we're seeing in the, the videos that many people are posting online is that it's already possible to complete, you know, nearly full drives um, fully autonomously, right? So there's still someone behind the wheel, you know, they have their hands there just in case. It's not perfect, um, so that, you know, it's not quite perfect yet, uh, but I think that we're closer than ever. And I think that, you know, we take confidence in all the improvements that we've seen in AI over the past uh, few years as well. I mean, that has to help autonomous driving. You know, we do see early elements of some things, you know, some improvements that we've seen from large language models, for instance, bleeding over into the development work that's that's happening for autonomous driving. Um, so we're really more excited than ever. I mean, we think this is going to drive uh, the future value of Tesla when we look out five years. We think it'll be two thirds of the enterprise value in, in five years. So, so we're super excited about it. Can't wait for August. And Tasha, two thirds of it is going to be driven by robo taxis, correct? Correct. Two thirds of the exactly. value. Tasha, when, when, using history as a guide here, from when Elon Musk has unveiled prototypes in the past and then the timeline between that to when Tesla actually starts production, what does that timeline look like? And do you think it's going to be a similar type of timeline this time around? Yeah, so you know they've said that they were planning on mass producing this car in, in 2025. Um, you know, we have heard, uh, you know, a, a few things. There's, well, there's, there's, I think, Two kind of separate things here, right? There's the, there's what they're talking about is the twenty five thousand dollar car, which I think could actually be the same platform as Robo Taxi, and it's a question of like whether or not that's a car for the consumer versus just um, these cars are going in fleets uh, that are then being operated by Tesla and potentially longer term an operating partner that owns and maintains the vehicles for robo taxis. Um, so I think, you know, that it's it's totally possible that that, you know, potentially could be delayed from the initial timeline. Um, but the real question is actually when the software will be ready, right? Because the Teslas that are on the road today um, already have the capability to be turned into fully autonomous vehicles, um, you know, once those software updates are layered on and sent over the air. Um, so I think, you know, whether or not, uh, you know, the robo taxi prototype that we see gets gets unveiled on time is a question of when will they launch the robo taxi network. Mm -hmm. So I think that this announcement shows their confidence in that platform, um, which is really exciting. So uh, that's that's what we're looking for for the next five years. You know, when can I take my hands off the wheel in my Tesla? And I think it'll be sooner than you expect. Uh, I, I've been talking about this for 10 years on these programs, so it's nice to hear that it's finally imminent. Um, can you talk to us about the importance of IP um, that Elon Musk uh, has talked about previously and how IP is key to full service driving, which is key to your, in, your investment thesis here that is two thirds robo taxis. What is the moat that Elon Musk has established for Tesla in the domain of uh, intellectual property? I'm so glad you asked that question because this is really what we're most excited about for Tesla's opportunity in autonomous driving. They have an unparalleled, uh, unparalleled data advantage um, compared to every other company that's solving for full autonomy. Um, you know, they just released on Twitter a graph showing the number of miles that they've collect that they're that customers have driven in full self-driving. We think that they get you know access to roughly two and a half mi million miles a day of customer data that they can potentially use to train their system. I mean, when you look at companies like Waymo, uh, you know, that are like passing roughly like 10, a little over 10 million miles in the total lifetime of the project uh, hmm. versus two and a half million a day. I, I mean, that's unprecedented. Um, and data is really key here in a lot of AI applications, proprietary data. 
Um, and so we think that this is what will uh, could allow Tesla to be one of the first companies to scale. And that's really important because we think that the majority of the economics and robotaxis, and this is actually in our latest Big Ideas deck that we published this year, our annual research deck, the majority of the economics will um, accrue to the players who are able to tackle you know, the first half of urban miles traveled. Um, with autonomous driving platforms. Uh, so I think you know Tesla's both production scale, the number of cars on the road, um, as well as that data advantage, uh, really they're a dangerous competitor here. Um, so so I'd, I'd be nervous if I was a, another autonomous driving company. Hey, I, I would be nervous too. And regardless of the result, it's just gonna be fascinating uh, to see how this plays out. And we enjoy having you at the front lines here. Thank you, Tasha Keeney. Thank you for having me.